High Court of the Federal Capital Territory has ordered the suspension of Adams Oshomele as the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress. And an Amnesty International lawyer warns that the immunity for lawmakers bill will worsen Nigeria's corruption perception index. This is Plus Politics and I am Benny Ark. Twenty twenty so far has not been great to Adams Oshomele as the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Jabi Abuja, has ordered a suspension as the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC. This is coming barely four months after the Edo State chapter of the party suspended him for allegedly trying to disintegrate the party in the state. And joining me tonight on Plus Politics are two Arabidite and impeccable political analysts, Francis Chilaka. Thank you, Francis, for joining us this evening. And also John Wesley is with us this evening on the show. Good Thank evening, John. You, yeah, good evening. And both of you seem to be laughing. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> now, let, let's get into the show this evening and um, interesting turn of events. The, the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Jabi Abuja, yes, today actually, um, ordered an interim suspension of Adams Oshomele as the National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC. What is your reaction to this? Uh, well, um, well, we know that um, our law courts have turned into something else. They get involved in areas that shouldn't be involved in. Okay. Um, it is one thing to suspend Adams Oshomele. It's another thing for the injunction to be obeyed. Mm -hmm. uh, because I would ask a question, has there been any problem at the national level? Do the states, the wards, the local government, do they have the power to suspend the national chairman? If they have the power to do that, then um, once that has been done, there should be something in the constitution of APC mm -hmm. that allows him to be recalled. Yes. Mm -hmm. But since the constitution, from what I've read, does not, have, does not empower the states and the local governments to suspend a national chairman, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked at you know, the court. But not saying that what the court has done is wrong, because the court would always tell you that they are taking steps to avert uh, a terrible situation. But then, something is at stake, which we almost agree. We need to curb the issue of godfatherism in Nigerian politics. Mm -hmm. If you don't curb that, I mean, we'll, we'll, all the other governors who have left office are doing the same thing. It's just that Adamson is, uh, is being propped up because he's the party chairman. Mm -hmm. But all the other governors are doing the same thing. Now, we know in recent times, there have been a whole lot of clamor and call for the resignation of Adams or Shermola, even by party, party members. And what is interesting is that the National Working Committee of the APC, I've not heard him say so much about all of this hula baloo that has characterized Edo State between Governor Adam Obasaki, Governor Obasaki and Adams Oshomele. John, you want you want to react to this? <clears throat> well, you agree with me that politics uh, revolves around all of these things: Godfatherism, uh, uh, I am for you, I am not for you. Now, talking about the uh, the injunction by the court, yes. uh, number one thing I would like to say, like he mentioned, one of the things that we must call for is, who are those who want a Shomole out? Those people who want a Shomole out should come out and say that we want him out. Not people from Edo State, some group of people who say that they want to suspend him from the party. So if you are suspending him in the first place, in what capacity are you? As a national chairman. No, not the, the, the first question we should ask. In what capacity are you suspending him? Are you suspending him from coming to the village meetings that you hold or from the <laughs> meetings that you hold within the state? Or in what capacity are you suspending him at the national level? Yeah. Who are the delegates that came together to agree to say that, okay, this person should be suspended and all of that? So it is very important that we know all of those things. Apart from the fact that we know that the rift exists and all of these things, none of the governors have come out to say that we want Oshomole out. All the APC governors and all of that. None of them have come to say, we agree, we stand by this. I am aware, and I can tell categorically that there are certain governors who also want him out. But let us make it clear, come before the media to say, we want this guy out. Until then, whatever the court has done, well, we would say that. They, that's why I want to assume, that's why they called it interim. Yes. Because this is not the days of Shonekong, that we will be hearing <laughs> something like interim. So they said interim. Yeah. The only place I have a problem that I think the court also has created problem 
is saying that Oshomole should be denied access yeah, to the gonna, national, we're, yeah, we're, we're you know, gonna, to the party sector. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, I'm particular about the NWC of the All Progressive Congress, the APC. They're not saying much about this. Don't they have a say, a role in all of this? They, they are the National Working Committee, and this is your national chairman. And being suspended, does that automatically make him a non-member of the APC? Well, it's, it, it, you know, like we said, um, until you know who is fanning the fire, you wouldn't know who to hold responsible. Um, yes, there's, there's a lot going on between um, uh, Adam Soshimole and Obeseki. Yes. It's in the state, yes. but it's not at the national level. So the National Working Committee, I remember was it last month or a few months back, came out and gave him a clean bill. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, like, I, like I, 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 I would say this, the crisis that is breeding in Nigeria will be caused by the judiciary. It's been playing out. We've seen it play out in Imo State. We've seen it playing out in um, um, Bayosa. Bayosa. We've seen it playing out in Edo State. The judiciary has suddenly become the bane of our problem. The judge will, one judge will give one judgment here, another judge will give another judgment here on the same issue. Mm -hmm. So there is something wrong. There is something definitely wrong with our judiciary. They need to go back and sit down and put their ass together. Mm. Now, it's a suspension um, pending the determination of the main suits. Mm. John, how do you see this panning out? <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm saying. You see, you call something interim. Yes. You understand? And towards the end of your declaration or injunction, you stated clearly that the same person that is being placed on interim suspension should ends be denied access. And that's where you will sense that some people are yet to come to the public to speak. Okay. So that portion is the voice of some people who are yet to speak in the open. When you say such person should be denied access, you can imagine, so you are, what you are saying is by tomorrow morning, if Oshamole decides to go into his office, he should be arrested. You know, he should be arrested or he should be deprived entry. Not access so you can office. imagine for the kind of Oshamole that we know, <laughs> you can imagine what will play out eventually if some set of people decide to stand in the way, you know, injuring him from going into the office. Now that you say this, let me, let me bring this question to the yeah. table. I mean, the, the type of Oshamole that we know, we, yes. we just said the national chairman has conducted himself in the affairs of the party in a very palatable manner, given all of the occurrences in the last couple of weeks and months. Francis. You see, um, we need to understand where Oshamole is coming from. Yeah, very important. Oshamole is coming from the background of an activist. Mm -hmm. And the Labour Party chairman. Yeah, he became a governor because of his activities and as the, the NLC boss. NLC boss. Right. Now, he used the same, it, it's in his blood. So it was the same attitude that he took into government house. It is the same attitude he took becoming the party, um, chairman of the party. Mm -hmm. If you really watched, um, even when they were going to do um, inaugurate Mr. President the second, mm -hmm. you notice there was a little bit of fracas, mm -hmm. where he should stand and where he shouldn't stand. Mm -hmm. And Adam Soshimole became a party chairman. As soon as he became a party chairman, he wanted to authenticate the powers mm -hmm. of the party chairman. He wanted to say that the, power, the party is supreme. But you know, now in Nigerian politics, mm -hmm. we have not been able to draw a line between the party and the executive arm mm -hmm. of government. Mm -hmm. So that's where the problem is. So Adams is somebody that we all know he behaves like a Rottweiler. And we know that whether there's an injunction, whether there's a court ruling, trust him, he will bamboozle his way into that place. Mm -hmm. And then there's another clause to it. It says, henceforth, he should not be addressed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a party chairman. Mm -hmm. then there is more to this judgment than is playing out. That uh, a whole lot of definition. There, you know, it's too shrewded. The judgment is shrewded with certain secrecy that um, we are yet to know. If you say there is an interim you know, suspension. I am I'm emphasizing that the word. Interim. Interim. Okay. It simply means that it's supposed to be mild. Interim, it simply means that, okay, this person is suspended, but it means that there are certain rights that you are not stripping him off of, you know, and then is suspended pending. We hear this case, we hear that case. But if you are now, you know, closing that 
to say that it should no longer be addressed as this. It should not be allowed access. That is a major issue. He is still a member of the party. Now, one of the things that we also need to know, the suspension coming from his clan, they called that it should be suspended. Is he being, you know, suspended from being a member of the party? Or we are dwelling on, we don't want him as the national the chairman. chairman. If it is just the national chairman, it means that you cannot take away his right for, as, a party for, as, a pet, as a party member, which means that he still has that right to go into the party sector, either at the state level or at the national level or wherever. So that statement saying that it should be denied access will cause a whole lot of trouble. All right, let, let's, um, let's, let's take a critical look at one of the components, the main components um, they gave for, the, for calling for his resignation as the national chairman, which they say um, the APC has lost more states under him as chairman. I think they, they used to have about, is it 28 states? And many court rulings have, um, have come and they've lost more states under, under Adato Shomale. And they pointed at him as the main factor, the problem of the APC. Do you see this solving the problem the APC might be having? I'm thinking it's more of an internal problem that Nigerians are not privy to. And the fact that the National Working Committee is not saying anything, and sometimes they say silence constitutes assent. What would you say to that, Francis? You see, when you say that the um, um, APC have lost some states, you must understand that Nigerians are becoming very political conscious. People are beginning to open their eyes, people are beginning to participate, even though Nigerians are not fully participating, especially the elites. They're not participating politically the way some of us would want. Yes. But people are beginning to reason. People are beginning to vote beyond party lines. People are looking at the individual. Are you able to deliver? What are your antecedents? What can you give to us? So that's what people are looking at. And, uh, and if we look at it, we know that, yes, um, even in even the parties, even the states they won, we know how how Oshimole worked. Mm -hmm. He worked for those states because some of the states we all know what transpired in the elections. You know, the one of Bayasa, you can't blame Adams Oshimole. He's a party chairman, but he doesn't take all the decisions. He doesn't make all the decisions. You know, and if you bring it down to even the one of Imo, we also know what played out. Yes. You know, so Adams, yes, he may have his own sides, you know. I know that Adams had a very rough time with um, Rochas mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, every godfather doesn't want to have another godfather. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what played out between him and Rochas. But the truth of the matter is that Adams is stubborn as a party chairman, but he is also delivering for APC as far as he's still the party chairman. John, your thoughts on this? Well, well I, but the question I'm going to put forward the question of how many of these candidates did uh, the party chairman anointed. So if, you, if, if they are coming forward to say that they have, they are, they have had their woes as a result of um, some of the decisions he made, yes. what about the party chairman in those states? What about certain powers that be that influences one thing or the other in those states? So are you not calling for the heads of all these other people? Are you not calling for the heads of the party chairman in those states? If you are calling for the national chairman, it means that it, it's beyond the party politics within the states. It's beyond um, the fact that you lose a This is not the first time we have yeah, had... He's, he's a chairman. He's a chairman of the party. Regardless. So he's a chairman of the party. And whatever decision those other people would take is yes. not, it's not um, without his knowledge. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. That's not Benny, the way it Benny, there's a way it works. <laughs> it's just like you saying that whatever happened in Lagos, you know, was... Uh, it, it was... It, they, they needed... The central government were held responsible. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming from it. It's just okay. like you saying that um, we, we, we have a governor, so we'll look today, and yeah. then without the decision of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of a Shomole, there wouldn't have been uh, a Son Wulu. Not in Lagos. Not, not in other states. Not, as well. no, no, let us yeah, but but he, that, that is if he's the godfather to Son Wulu, but in this case, no, 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 he's we're, not. We're, we're not. That's what I'm saying. Yes. So you cannot blame, you cannot blame a Shomole for the woes in these states because he's not a godfather to even any of these people in those states. In the first place, there were party chairmen. But the court rulings was not based on Godfatherism. The were, court were, rulings were, that yeah. we are talking about here, that's why I'm asking the yes. question that the court ruling is shrouded in secrecy. They should come out clear. Some people called for the head of the chairman, yes. and then the court is coming forward to say interim suspension. My question is this. Let us know, apart from the fact that you say you lost, this is not the first time um, parties are losing elections. They should be calling for the heads of seconders all over the place. Yes. 
Yes, they should be calling for his head all over the place where they lost elections. This is not the first time. No, but let me. Let me, but, but let me are you saying this is more no, personal than political? No, let me, no there's, there's a whole lot. There's yeah. a whole lot. Let me at this. Let yes. me at this. When it comes to getting a candidate, it starts from the local, from your ward, yes, to the local government, yes. mm -hmm. then to the state. Now the state will now send the name to the national, to the national. That this is who we want. And there are even possibilities that the person that they are sending to the national, the national chairman may have never met the person That's before. It. Now, some people have said that the ongoing conflict between Adams Oshoma and, and Godwin Basak over those states is not so far-fetched and could be connected to the wars befalling him right now. Do, absolutely. Do, 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 do you subscribe to that? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> even, it, even, even, a, even a kid if, knows yes, that. Yes, even the child you know, on the street like over those this, states I, will I tell you. I said this on this platform before. Um, Adams Oshoma must realize that he's no longer the governor of those states. Exactly. He needs to understand that there is a new sheriff in town. Exactly. And when he comes down and respects the sheriff in, time, in town, things will work out. It's, it's unfortunate that all our uh, governors, that all ex-governors, they're doing the same thing. Everybody wants to put somebody they can manipulate and control. But there's something about human life which is change. Change is constant. The moment somebody gets there and sees the beauty of what is there, you want to be free. That's it. So it is a fight for freedom that makes every one of them fight with their godfathers. An unwritten political statement was made a few days ago, which I am of the opinion that the person who made that unwritten statement wanted Oshomole to learn from it. The former president of this country had something to do in Edo State. And then he stopped by to greet, to the, greet governor. the governor. And he made a statement. He said... Protocol. We must follow protocol. You are the CSO of the state. We cannot come to your state and not appear. So that is an unwritten statement that is being passed to the national chairman. Now, now, still on this matter, before we go to our next segment, the judge also ordered Oshomele to stop parading himself as the national chairman of the party and directed the party to cease acknowledging him in that regard. Now, the, it's, it still begs the question. Those are the Does this those are, those were the prayers, make him a non-party member? Those were the prayers of those people who wanted him out. And the prayers of these people, the truth of the matter is, I am saying it, I am still mentioning Those people who actually want Oshomole out should come out and spell it in clear terms that we... We need, we need party members. Don't you think the party See, members should I come out not, and start speaking not, now and the NWC? I, I, I am somebody, I'm not, I'm not a supporter of Adam Soshimole, and I'm not APC, I'm not PDP and all of that. But the truth of the matter is simple. Uh, when you get suspended at your ward, you have not been expelled mm -hmm. from the party. party. Now, when you get suspended from your ward, you take the matter to the local government. Mm -hmm. The local government suspends you, take it to the state. Mm -hmm. When the state suspends you, the state, it is not the state that will take it to the National Working Committee. Mm -hmm. Now, until the National Working Committee suspends you... You're not suspended. You're not suspended. But the thing is that, I, I think those who want him out feel that going through this process will not get what they want. Mm -hmm. So they now decided to go to the courts. And we know that, you know, a lot has happened in the courts in recent times that a lot of Nigerians are beginning to lose faith uh, in getting justice from exactly. the judiciary. Mm -hmm. Francis Chilaka and John Wesley, political analysts, thank you for your contribution in thank this you. segment. And thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now, and when we return, the effect of the lawmakers' immunity bill is up for conversation. Do stay with us. <laughs> 